In this video, you will learn how to use a template in a Google Form. So I'm going to click on Google Drive and I'm going to go to the New button. So this is where I go to create new folders, docs, sheets, slides, and if I go to More, here's where I do Forms and I have some other options as well. But I want you to notice that next to Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Forms, there's an arrow. And if I hover over the arrow, each one gives me the option to do a blank one or from a template. So for Google Forms, I'm going to hover over the arrow and say from a template. Now it opens the template gallery and there's two tabs, the general tab and Lafayette Parish School System. We'll look at the general real quick and these are just forms that Google created that are generic that you can use. So you have like an exit ticket, a party invite, customer feedback, Okay, but I'm going to go to the Lafayette Parish School System one and notice that we have this Social Studies Bell Ringer template. Okay, we have created this template for you to use for Social Studies Bell Ringers. And what's great is when you look at the template and you click once to open it, it automatically makes a copy and puts it in whatever folder you have open in Drive. And so you don't have to worry about going into the, the form and doing file, make a copy. It's going to make a copy for you each time. So I'm going to click on it once and it's going to load my copy. Okay, and I'm just going to go back to Drive just to show you it's now in that folder. And so I'm going to rename it just so I know what it is. So I'm just going to say Bell Ringer Week 1, Day 1. You can rename yours whatever you'd like. Week one, day one. Okay, so if you look at the template, we have a student name, there's an image here, and then we have two questions that we made generic so you can reuse this form over and over, and the only thing you'll need to change is the image. Okay, so the question based on the source, provide one fact related to our lesson, or based on your knowledge, what else can you tell me about the topic? So you can customize this form for whatever topic you're teaching on. You just have to find the image or source that you want to put here. You can also add more questions to the bell ringer if you'd like. So I have student name, but if you'd like to say add period, what you would do is if I want it to be after student name, I would click on student name and then click my add image icon, add question icon, which is the plus sign. And then I would just type period and do my question type. So I'll just say it's a short answer. I can even click to make it required if I want to. So I can open up the template each day and all I need to do is change the image and it's very, very easy to do. So I would click here and notice now that on my image I have these three dots, my ellipses. So I click on that and there's the option to change. So what you can do is then find your image that maybe you snipped, click open, and then there's your new image. So here's the form that I'm going to use week one, day one. Okay, if I go back to my bell ringer folder, notice that there's my name. So if I wanted to do week one, day two, I would go to new, forms, from a template, Click once and do the same thing. Just rename it so that I know which what this is. Week one, day two. And then change my image. I don't have to worry about the questions because they're generic. So this is how you use templates in Google and Really, this is how you could do the Social Studies Bell Ringer quickly and easily. As long as you have your little images that you'd like to add, your questions are already there and generic enough that you don't have to worry about changing them. This concludes this video.